Debates on the future of the EU are escaping politicians in France and Germany as they prepare for two crucial general elections. On Sunday night, German party leaders locked horns in a television debate to win voters over ahead of the federal election to replace Angela Merkel. Of the many topics touched upon by the main contenders in the election, Armin Laschet, CDU, Olaf Scholz, SPD, and Annalena Baerbock, Greens, the country's future in the EU failed to make it on the agenda. Their electoral campaigns also lack either a Europhile or Eurosceptic stance, as they continue to tour the country ahead of the September 26 vote. EU expert Wolfgang Munchau noted, interesting, or depressing, that none of the candidates in the German elections have campaigned on EU themes. It means they won't have a mandate to support big reforms. Echoing the Eurointelligence Director, Italian MEP Marco Zanni also added, we should also ask ourselves the reason for this trend, now even Macron no longer believes in it, in France, people will head to the polls next spring but electoral campaigns are already in full swing, the only candidate hoping to replace President Macron who dared speaking about the EU was the one people least expected it from. Michel Barnier, the EU's former Brexit negotiator, proposed a referendum on French law supremacy over EU courts' decisions. Speaking at a debate with right-wing parties for the party primaries in the city of Nîmes to mark the start of the new parliamentary year, Mr Barnier also called for rebuilding French influence in the face of Germany's domination in the EU. The French presidential candidate explained that regaining national sovereignty from EU courts would allow France to decide on its own immigration law. The move even shocked far-right national rally leader Marine Le Pen, despite her long-standing Eurosceptic views. Queen Margaret II to bring Karen Blixen's image creating worlds to life in Netflix film.